What's going on everybody? Way of Fishing here. I've been gone for quite a while, but I'm back now. I had to give myself time for my hand to heal up. Uh, sorry about the lawnmower noise in the background. I want to do a super short video to kind of update you guys on the boat you see behind me. So this is the John Boat build that I've been working on for a few years now. And um, it's a budget build. It's not super complicated with rod lockers and all of that. So it's a budget build. But I'm at the stage now where I'm doing the actual decking. So I'm no longer using treated plywood in my builds anymore. Uh, looking at uh, some other builds that are going on and, and looking into actually the, the situation of aluminum and treated lumber and all. I've done it for years and I've had great success, but I decided with this build I'd go away from it. And I tried to do what Anthony Jones did with the Top Gun John Boat and use uh, fiberglass resin without the matting, just the resin to seal the wood. So you can see up here, um, you can tell it's got the fiberglass coating on it. You can feel it. The coating is on this. I'm going to switch mid project and leave the fiberglass coating alone. I'm not going to do fiberglass coating. Um, let me tell you guys why for me, it's not the solution. So Anthony Jones is super detailed, like ridiculously detailed and meticulous in his build in order to treat the wood with the fiberglass you have to take a lot of time and a lot of physical labor and you just have to, there's no way to make it faster, okay? So I did a couple coats. You've only got 10 or 15 minutes working time. You're doing a large surface area, so that's hard by itself. Um, then you're going through materials, paint brushes and mixing bowls. Um, you have to give it time to cure. There's the odor coming into the house. Um, but after even a couple coats, which is all I really wanted to do, it rained the other day. Sorry, I had to wait for the lawnmower to go away. It rained the other day, and one thing I noticed is that the wood started to get a, a milky haze to it, which tells me that moisture was getting into the resin or the coating. It wasn't completely waterproof yet. I'm not willing to put any more time into mixing and spreading thick fiberglass resin on this boat. It's just too much work for me. If that's what you want to do, fine, but I just want to be really honest. This was a lot of work. It's a lot of repeated steps over and multiple coats and multiple coats and mixing and throwing brushes away. I'm done. I'm going to an exterior paint and I'm going to recoat this all with exterior paint and I'm going to keep it moving. But I will not be using fiberglass resin to seal any other wood on this boat. I'm done. Uh, but just real quick for an update, this is what we look like. We're gonna have a cooler here, an access hatch over there behind my hat. Um, I've run a uh, six gauge wire to run the trolling motor wires. And then I've got power wires going up to a fuse blocks up, up here to um, run the uh, depth finder and the switch for the bilge pump and all of that. I've got the trolling motor mount actually mounted. And one quick question I wanna address in this video I got from a subscriber. He was trying to figure out how when you use the ladder method to, uh, to compensate for a mismatch in height. Here on the front, I ran the deck out to the top of the gunnel. And then so you've got a gap underneath that goes across to the other gunnel. What I did is I actually took the riser on the ladder and cut the rungs off and then just ran it underneath just like you see here. Okay, this is a riser with the rungs cut off. but. I ran it along the length of this board across to support this middle section, which gave me a support of about, you know, that thick, all aluminum, and it's super sturdy. So I hope that helps um, somebody else who's trying to solve that question too. But that's the boat as it stands now. Again, still a work in progress. It's a budget build, so we do what we can when we can. And uh, hopefully I'll have this boat done in the next month or so, so it can be out of my yard. But. Uh, I'm out here pouring sweat. It's finally warm. It's been st stupid cold for May, and it's actually warm today, so I'm out here sweating. And I'm gonna shoot a couple more videos and cut the grass and hopefully go fishing tomorrow. So thanks for sticking with me. Sorry for the hiatus. Uh, couldn't be helped though. Um, my hand is healing up nicely, and uh, we're gonna go to the next video. So thanks for watching my way of fishing. Get out there and fish your way.